very first postulate. It's going to be very important. Um, what is this? Chapter three. Corresponding angles postulate. Okay. Corresponding angles postulate um, says this that um, if um, two lines are parallel, then corresponding angles equal. Two lines are parallel, then the corresponding angles are equal. Okay? So you can only use this postulate when you have parallel lines. Okay? If the lines aren't parallel, then you can't use it. Okay? Because the if part has to be true for the then part to be true. Okay? So that's one of the reasons why we worked on some of those previous. Um, logic statements so you know that if the, if the hypothesis is true, then the conditional has got to be true. Okay? So then if we kind of take a step back and um, we can say special things about every single um, type of pair. If I would say, um, let's go like this, alternate interior angles theorem. Okay? If we look at a pair of alternate interior angles, what do you think is true about those? Same. They're the same? When? Uh, the when they're parallel. They're only the same when they're parallel. So, we're going to say if two lines are parallel, then alternate interior angles are equal. Okay? If you want to shorten this up, you can say the AIA theorem. Okay? And you can only use that theorem when what? When they're parallel. Okay? And we're going to prove some of these, but we're just not going to do it today. Okay? Um, Let's take a look at another um, pair of angles. Alternate exterior. What do you think is going to be true about those? They're equal when? When they're parallel. So we'll do this. Alternate exterior angles theorem. So A, E, A. Theorem. If two lines are parallel, then alternate exterior angles are equal. Okay. So is that all the angles, all the pairs of angles we have? Corresponding alternate interior, alternate exterior, consecutive interior. Here's what I'd like you to do: draw a picture on your own of two consecutive interior angles. And what decide what you think might be true. Okay? Alternate interior were equal, alternate exterior were equal, corresponding are equal. And I'm gonna get ready. What do you think is true about consecutive interior? Do they look equal? Linear pair? Linear pair are next to each other. They're supplementary. Okay. So if we take a look at this, those two angles, when the lines are parallel, then we have to add it to 180. 
<clears throat> now, let's take a look at kind of how we can remember some of these things. Corresponding when they're parallel. One and two, I easily see they're the same because angle two, I can just slide that right up and it's the same thing as angle one. I can just slide it right in the same position. If it's bottom, I can slide it right up to, you know, so that's why three and four would be even because they're also corresponding. Not too big a deal, okay? Um, if I'm looking at alternate interior, here's how I look at alternate interior. I look at that as like a Z situation. So I'm gonna come along a line going to turn, go along the transversal for a while, and then I'm going to go on the other line for a while. That forms, if those lines I'm traveling on are parallel, then it means those two are equal. So look at that Z situation. So I'm turning and I'm going on a side street, but I'm still going the same direction. Okay? Um, what? Oh, cool. What a deal. <laughs> um, so now what if I talk about um, like alternate interior, I'm sorry, consecutive interior? You're going along the road, you realize, oh crap, I forgot my wallet. You're gonna turn and then go back. Sometimes they call that, okay, I've gotta uh, spin a what or do a what? U do a U-turn, a 180, yeah. okay? So when you, change direction and go back the other way, you're going to sweep through 180 degrees. Okay? So that's one way you could think about consecutive interior. Okay? You're going to go down, you're going to turn, then you're going to go back. Okay? Ways to kind of talk about each one of those things. You might notice that I called these four things by different names. First one, I had a postulate. Next one, the theorem and the rest of them are theorems. Postulate is just something we have to accept. We don't have a choice. Okay? But a theorem can be proved based upon the others. Okay? So I'm going to give you one example of how we can prove something like this. Um, what the heck? Let's try and prove the alternate exterior angle. Theorem. Uh, let's see, yeah, alternate interior angles. So, in order to do something like this, we need a drawing. And I'm going to label some angles. Let's just say alternate interior angles 1 and 2. So, let's name these lines L and M. If I'm going to prove this theorem, this pr theorem says that if they're parallel, then in this case, angle one, uh, the measure of angle one equals the measure of angle two. So if I'm going to prove this theorem, my given is going to be L is parallel to M. Okay, <clears throat> two. I'm going to use angle three here. That's my hint. What do you know is true? One and three are equal? Okay. So the measure of angle one equals measure of angle three. Do you guys agree with that? Why? The vertical angles are equal. Okay. Okay. What else do we know? And remember, whenever we're proving something, we can use all the postulates and theorems that we've already proven. Okay, and we can use postulates. So what else do we know about this drawing? What do we know about two and three? They're corresponding. I can't use alternate interior to prove the alternate interior proof, okay? But I could say two and three are equal. Why? Why are two and three equal? It's 
corresponding angles postulate. But we got to be careful. Corresponding angles postulate can only be used if we have parallel lines. Do we have parallel lines? Yes. Got it. So we can use that. We got the parallel lines, so we can use that. Okay? So I'm trying to show that the alternate interior angles are equal. So now what? Substitute, okay, or transitive, and what would I write then? Measure angle one equals measure angle two by a transitive or a substitution. And so that proves this theorem because it says if the lines are parallel, then those two angles are equal. Okay? And all the other theorems can be proven somewhat similar. Okay? Mr. Rexrow? Yes, ma'am? Is he a No, he's not. No. Okay. I did, but um, I got some feedback that he was taking the, taking the test. Okay. <clears throat> he was a weightlifting? Okay. 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 So for right now, you need to realize that, um, first of all, it's very important that you understand alternate interior angles, corresponding angles, um, same side interior angles, or consecutive interior angles, because they're very important. Because when the lines are parallel, that's going to allow us to say a lot of different things are true. Okay? Um, and tomorrow, I, I, I hope to, um, or sometime this week, I hope to kind of show you guys some things with alternate interior angles and such that really show you that they can be really quite useful. So what we can do is we can do a situation like this. Okay? Let me give you a drawing. And... Let's say this angle here is 100 degrees. So angles 1, 2, 3, 4, um, okay. What angles can we find? 3? Three? 3 is 100. Okay, good, because they're vertical. What else? Oh, hold on. These are parallel. The one above three, okay, it's not labeled, but we can go ahead and find that. 80 degrees, okay. Four? What is four? 100. Why? Because they're corresponding with one of the angles I already know, or it's alternate exterior with one of the angles I already know. Okay? So this is 100. One is 100. And I could actually do all of these. Okay. For various reasons. And let's double check this. Same side interior, consecutive interior. They do the 180. Sounds like a dance. Do the 180. I don't know. We should make up a dance. Do the 180. Why? Get all over that, okay? You could do that, couldn't you? Choreographs. Okay. Um, what about angle two? Do I know angle two? Why don't I know angle two? Because the lines aren't parallel. We really got to be careful that we only make conclusions about lines 
that are parallel and that transversal. Okay? That's why we were able to sweep along this transversal, but we can't sweep along this transversal because the lines that's going to intersect are not parallel. Okay? You've got to be very careful with that. Okay. So, for today, some practice some practice. Okay. So we're going to go page 183. Okay. Uh, don't have much time left. So I'll kind of make this a little bit on the short side. Draw some pictures and, um, and I think this will help you a gob. Okay. Go page 183. I think those will all go pretty well. Those are just establishing um, Good. Let's go 11 through, now 11 through 19, I would draw the picture nice and big for you. Remember, don't, don't draw, don't write in your book. Uh, I know it's tempting, but these are not workbooks. We don't replace them every year. Um, well, then they need to be punished. In pen, I'll have to see if I can find out who had your book before. Okay? So, yeah. Yeah. Let's go 11 through 30. They've written 30, so let's go through 29. I think that'll be it.